there, YouTube. I am Tiffany, and I am back to share with you some Tiffany's tips. Um, so this week, I'm going to share with you my top five challenges that um, I had to face when it came with breastfeeding, and I'm pretty sure that there are other mothers out there who have faced those challenges as well. Um, if you haven't already had the chance to check out last week's blog or video, I touched on the top six reasons that I thought breastfeeding was awesome, which it absolutely is. However, there are pros and cons to everything, and I didn't feel like it was fair to just share the pros of breastfeeding without sharing some cons of breastfeeding. So, number one, the number one um, issue that I had with breastfeeding or number one challenge that I had when it came to breastfeeding was um, being comfortable or being insecure about it. So, I mean... The breast area is, um, for some, it's a sensitive um, area, and it's an area that some people may not be all that comfortable with. If you're exclusively breastfeeding, you know, you're not pumping or anything like that, you may have challenges like when you go out in public and you're trying to figure out, um, you know, where is the place to breastfeed? You don't want people staring at you, or it's just different thoughts and things that come to mind when you're thinking about breastfeeding. Um, and it does take a minute to get comfortable with it, but, you know, they have different wraps and different things of that nature where you can cover yourself um, if you are just exclusively breastfeeding and you're not pumping. Or you can just pump milk before you, you know, leave home. So that way you have milk in a bottle and you'll be able to give it to your baby. Um, or they have places where you can, you know, you can dip off maybe to a restroom or something like that, you know, feed baby real quick. I know a thing I used to do um, when we were out and I had to breastfeed, um, I would go back to the car and I was sitting in the car and I feed the baby um and so I started getting comfortable and I finally invested in one of those wrap things where I placed it over me and then baby would you know go under and I'll be able to um breastfeed her but that's just something it's going to take some time for new moms who are breastfeeding um it's going to take some time to get comfortable with so there's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about this is 100% natural this is what your body was made to do your baby is eating but for some of us you know we're not all that comfortable with it and that's fine it takes a little bit of time to build that comfort up so just hang in there you know and get that confidence together know that you you know you're feeding your baby and anybody who has a problem with it you can tell them what you feel like you need to tell them <laughs> so number two challenge that i dealt with um so i didn't i didn't breastfeed my oldest daughter i breastfed baby number two and she just latched on. We had no problems whatsoever. Everything was good. Baby number three, um, we had a few issues here and there with latching, but it wasn't um, so bad. And baby number four, she would, she in the beginning had this thing where she would just like latch. It was, it was, it just, it, it wasn't working. It was so uncomfortable. My nipples were sore. They were, they were starting to bleed. Like I was, you know, doing stuff wrong. So I had to, um, well, not, well, yeah, doing, I, we weren't doing it correctly. I learned, um, after some time, um, if you're having issues with your baby latching, um, I don't know if, they do the classes everywhere um, before you leave the hospital where you can see a lactation consultant. Um, they do have, they do offer that in some of the hospitals. I do know that where you're able to go see a lactation consultant and you can talk to her and she can show you what you need to do. All the, all the hospitals don't do that. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but if you do not have the chance to see a lactation consultant while you're in the hospital and you get home and you learn, you feel like you're having problems, don't hesitate to reach out to a consultant so that way you can get some help and you all you and your baby will be able to do this correctly okay now in the beginning it is going to be uncomfortable just a little bit and it's it's supposed to be you know a, a little uncomfortable but it's not supposed to be where you're sitting you're breastfeeding and it hurts the whole time if you're doing that then something is absolutely you know not being done correctly so if you want to reach out to a lactation consultant please do so that's what they're there for and i'll actually be doing a blog and video on that um coming up as well okay um, let's look at the number three challenge. Oh yeah, diet. So, um, what you eat, what you drink, it does affect your baby, okay? Um, I've had to play around with certain foods. Like I've had to get rid of, um, dairy because I noticed that certain dairy items that I would eat, um, my baby would have really, really, really terrible gas and she would be in such distress. And your baby's digestive system already isn't um, developed 100% when they're born. 
so it's a little bit more difficult for them to digest um, things, you know, in the beginning. And they can be really gassy. And them being gassy, you know, for older people, if they have to pass gas, they just pass it. It may not <laughs> be, you know, as painful. But you do have some instances where gas can be painful. But uh, for babies, it, it can be really, really painful for them. And they're just so uncomfortable and they cry and they're really, really fussy. So you want to pay attention to the certain, certain things that you're eating, okay, and certain things that you're drinking. Also, when it comes to alcoholic beverages, if you're going to drink alcohol while you're breastfeeding, make sure that you um, at least allow, I think it's like two hours before you breastfeed your baby again, okay? You don't want to give baby alcohol. Also, um, your caffeine intake. You need to pay attention to the caffeine that you're um, drinking as well. If you drink too much caffeine, that can cause your baby to be... Um, irritable okay we don't we don't we don't want an irritable baby that's not that's not fun okay so yes pay attention if you're if your baby's if you're breastfeeding and you notice that your baby's really really fussy um and having issues with gas after you know after you're eating certain things you may want to do some little trial and error okay well let me take this out of my diet you know for a few days and see if that improves things also 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 I purchased um, some gas drops, the Little Remedies gas drops, and I also have the um, Millicon drops. Those have helped us tremendously as well. So um, I thought that gripe water would work for uh, baby number four because it works so great with my other girls. She doesn't. Baby number four is not having it. She don't, The gripe water is not working. It's not working for her. So we just stick with the gas drops and she does absolutely great. Okay. Um, my number four challenge when it comes to breastfeeding is time and frequency. Breastfeeding is very, very demanding, okay? If you're breastfeeding exclusively, it takes away from um, a lot of, you know, things sometimes, especially in the beginning. You know, as baby gets older um, and their feedings are starting to get further and further apart, especially when, if you, when you start to introduce other foods and everything like that, you know, it's not going to be as... Um, um, demanding as it is now but uh, babies digest breast milk a lot faster than they do formula so like there are times where I was breastfeeding like every hour on the hour it's, it's you know it's like oh my goodness it, you just ate like you can't be hungry but yeah baby's hungry okay um and it 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 can be overwhelming, but just keep in mind, you know, I'm, I'm doing this, you know, for my baby. It does take a lot. It takes a lot of dedication. Okay. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you are going to be breastfeeding, it is very demanding. If you're going to breastfeed exclusively and like not, um, you know, do breastfeeding in formula, or if you're just straight pumping, you know, if you're, if you're just pumping, you have your bottles, you know, ready and so that way you can get other people to help you feed your baby but if you're just the go-to you know if you're just breastfeeding and that's it it is demanding so you want to keep that in mind also um but like i said over time the feedings become you know um, less and less frequent they don't have to eat as much so you know it it, it gets better but in the beginning it, it does take a lot um i have you know been able to pump and get people to you know help when it comes to feeding and everything like that so that's something to keep in mind as well and my number five challenge to breastfeeding or issue that comes along with breastfeeding or can come along with breastfeeding is mastitis okay so mastitis is um, inflammation in the breast tissue and it can lead to um, infection so sometimes you can get a block duct and it can stay blocked okay when it happens, it's very, very painful, okay? You can have some swelling, you can have redness, you can develop a fever and chills sometimes. Like, it is very, very uncomfortable. Um, I know that you can take Tylenol for if you're having pain. Um, you can use cold packs, you know, to put on there to help to relieve the pain also. But you want to follow up with your provider because you may need to take, you know, um, an antibiotic to help you get over the infection, okay? I think I'm being watched. Mm -hmm. being watched um so those are my top uh five challenges that come along with breastfeeding um what kind of challenges you know have any of you had i want to see in the comments if you haven't already had the time or the chance to um uh, check out my blog please do so at www.tipstipsforwellness.com um, please click the like button click the subscribe button. You know, um, if there's something that you want me to talk about specifically that I haven't touched on, please let me know. Um, next week, 
I'm not really sure what I'm, I think I'm gonna go into um, formula. I've talked about the pros and cons of breastfeeding. Now I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of formula feeding. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do that. So yes, comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm in the process of ending my maternity leave. I have to go back to work soon and I'm like, super sad about it <laughs> um but it's all good it's, it's part of the journey um so yes i'll be back next week with a new blog and new video i thank you all for watching and i'll see you next week